everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am in Rite Aid. I'm going to do a couple of transactions, even though it's cold outside and it's late. <laughs> I had to come and um, get some deals. I have my coffee, so I am set. I'm ready to get in on these deals. As we are aware, or may not be aware, I don't know if you guys are keeping up with any of this good stuff, but uh, these Neutrogena products are 20% off this week. And when you spend 40, you're going to get 10. And then you're also going to get $5 to print. Uh, it's going to be a Catalina coupon that you can use on your next shopping trip. So you'll get that to print once you spend 30 on Neutrogena products. So I am going to go ahead and get to 40. And I'm going to be using a spend 50 and get $10 um, back in bonus cash as well. Um, we have four different barcodes. I have already posted them if you need them. Um, so you can use those four different barcodes one time per account and only once per transaction. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up a few things. So let me browse to see what I actually want to get. I do have a printable coupon that I'm going to be using. It's a $16 off of two. Um, so I'll be using that. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what we can put together. Okay, I am picking up two of the Neutrogena Skin Perfecting um, products, and those are on sale 20% off, making them $17.43. And the makeup remover wipes will be $6.79. So all together, my total is $41.65. Um, so I will need to spend a little bit more to get to $50. So let's go grab some more stuff. As I went further down the aisle, I noticed these Neutrogena products are also included in the deal. So I think I'm going to go ahead and change out the wipes because I have plenty of those for this um, oil eliminating astrogen. So this is $7.99. So with the 20% off uh, discount, it'll be $6.39. Um, so about... 40 cents less than the wipes but um this will actually be put to use more in my house i'm gonna pick up two of these colgate these are part of a buy two and you get two dollars back in bonus cash and they're on sale for three dollars and fifty cents this week we have a three dollar digital coupon that's gonna apply to one of them and a 50 cent insert coupon that will apply to the other one. So that brings my total down to $3.50 for two, and then I'll get back the $2 in bonus cash. So that makes two of these just $1.50. These masks were in the clearance section, and these are 87 cents. And when you buy two, you get a $1 back in bonus cash. So here's the tag for that right here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to grab these two with all of this and I will be over the $50. I'll be right at $50 and then I'm going to be using a 5 off of 25 COVID coupon, the new one that expires on January 7th. And then I'm also going to be using this right here, 4 off of 20. So because I am spending 50, I can use the... 5 off of 25 and the 4 off of 20 and the only digital coupon that I have is a $3 Colgate so um, I will still be well over $45 even after that digital coupon comes off because I do need to get to 45 in order to use the 25 the 5 off of 25 and the 4 off of 20 so 25 and 20 is 45 so you do want to make sure you're total is over 45 even after that digital coupon so I hope that all makes sense <laughs> so yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead to and go to the register and check out all right everything turned out wonderfully after all the coupons my total was $22.01 and I got $22 back now my Catalina did not print for the $5 but the manager just gave me $5 <laughs> For that I had just asked him did anything happen to print and he said nope I said was something supposed to print and I told him yes and he did that so um, I felt terribly bad that he did that but there was no stopping him he just did it so um, but here's my receipt so the mask are at the top for 88 cents and there's that $5 um, COVID coupon 
I don't even know. I want to change the name. Let's just say five off a 25 coupon. And when I bought the two masks, I got a dollar back for buying two. And then there's the four off of 20. And the Neutrogena's all three of them there with the 16 off of two coupon. And the Colgate, 350. And a $3 load to card coupon. I did not um, have the 50 cent coupon to give to him so I'm going to ask about a post coupon. I do have it now and that one is here. Yeah. I got the, the paper after I checked out. Um, they have the paper here so my total is $22.01 and, and then I got the 22 so down here one's from the Colgate one's from the Spend 50 and get $10 back. And then one's from the Neutrogena. Um, I don't see the mask, actually. Huh. Maybe I didn't get it. No, I might not have. I know I got 10 and 10. Nope. So I didn't get it from the mask. And I just got it for the Neutrogena, the barcode, and the Colgate. So that's how I got 22. Plus the 5 that I just got that you should get from a Catalina printing off. And if you happen to have the same problem, you can reach out to the Catalina company and let them know what happened to see if there's anything they can do. Um, yeah, that was a pretty amazing deal. I also have a bonus cash challenge for completing the Neutrogena. I will get $9.90 back in January. So yeah, that makes it a nice little moneymaker. Now, speaking of bonus cash challenges, the challenges that I did on Sunday for the Duracell and the Vaseline, they did not track at all. Um, I kept looking every day and I didn't see it turn up. So as of Wednesday, I did put in a request for them to review it. I just went to bonus cash, uh, the bonus cash challenge website. Um, I believe it's bonuspointschallenges.com. And I went to the help um, portion of it and then at the very bottom there's a portion where you can submit a request for them to review it so I did enter all my information I provided the transaction number and they did email me back and said that they reviewed it and they are going to apply it to my bonus cash challenges uh, so yeah guys make sure you're checking those because sometimes they don't track for whatever reason I did confirm that everything was correct I used that you know the correct account and everything everything was uh, selected prior to purchasing so uh, just be careful with that so it does take up to 20, 48 hours for it to show it's not showing yet and it's Wednesday night I did the request Wednesday morning so we'll see how long it takes for them to get that into my account. So I'm going to do this Johnson & Johnson deal. It's a part of this um, spend at 25 and get $10 back. It's only on certain like first aid products and things like that. So I'm going to pick up this first aid kit. It's priced at $22.99. And then I'm also going to pick up another item getting me over the 25 So I will get $10 back in bonus cash. And then I'm going to submit to Johnson & Johnson Rewards for another $10 back for spending 25 So these aren't tagged, but these are a part of the deal. And this is an item that I use often. Um, my kids are in sports, as I may have <laughs> mentioned before. Um, so these are only $3.89. I'll go ahead and throw that in to get me over the $25. I picked up some chips. These are on sale two for seven. And we have a coupon. When you buy five, you get $3 off. So um, I went on ahead and clipped that digital coupon. And I also am going to throw in this Colgate so I can get to $50. Um, because with the Johnson & Johnson products and the chips, I am a little shy of $50. So this will get me right over. So I'll be using that um, spend 25, get $5 off coupon and having them scan the earn 10 when you spend 50. Alrighty, here is my receipt. The first aid kit there at the top, the uh, Johnson & Johnson sports wrap, the Colgate with the $3 load to cart coupon. Here are all my chips but the three off of five did not come off so i will need to contact customer service for that on the picture it does have bag of chips on there but i did read further on in the fine print and it does say something about multi-packs so 
I will call and see if they'll go ahead and give me that back. So that it should be $3 less. So we'll go ahead and just count that as $3 less. But just beware, guys, if you do decide to do this deal, um, you'll have to contact customer service to get that load to card coupon to be applied to your account. There is the 5 off of 25 coupon, and my total was $43.38. I did get $20 back for the booster coupon and for the Johnson & Johnson deal. And I'm also going to be submitting to the Johnson & Johnson Rewards website for a $10 Visa gift card. So that will be another $10 back. There's a Facebook Rite Aid group uh, couponing at Rite Aid. And we were talking about submitting your receipt twice. So if you happen to do... Uh, $50 worth of Johnson & Johnson products. You can submit it once for the $10 back for spending $25 and then submit it another time for another $10 for spending another $25. It is a limit of two per, per household, um, but somebody did confirm that they did try it um, when they had purchased everything on one receipt. They did try submitting it twice and they did get a total of $20 back in Visa Rewards. If you are looking to do this deal, you'll get $20 back for doing it here at Rite Aid and then another $20 back for submitting through Johnson & Johnson. So for $50 in product, you're pretty much, wow, that's that's free plus the money maker if you're using the spend 25, get $5 off and the earn 10 when you spend 50. So that is an awesome deal, guys, if you want to get on that. If you need any of the Band-Aids or Motrin or anything like that. And if you have coupons, definitely use your coupons and any Ibotta rebates. So I had already submitted it once. I wasn't able to do it twice, so that's why I didn't do it twice on this card. Um, I had already submitted it one time when I did my online order last week. So I don't believe I will get that back unless I use another person's address. So as far as my reward points total goes, I believe I earned 400 and something points on this one. So a little less than a dollar once converted. And then down here it just shows you the barcode and I have some tracking for Johnson & Johnson. And there's the Johnson & Johnson. So pretty awesome deal if you think about it I mean $30 back from a $43 purchase and then the $3 I'll get back after I talk to customer service so like $10.38 for everything not a bad deal I mean considering I got a whole bunch of chips so but yeah guys that's all I have for you on this one please give this video a thumbs up and let me know are you gonna go to Rite Aid at all this week I don't think I will be returning. I think that's it for me. Um, we are going to go watch Black Panther tomorrow. And after that, I think I'm going to just enjoy Veterans Day weekend uh, with the family. So what are you guys doing? Any plans for the weekend? All right. Well, I will talk to you guys later and have a good one. Bye. And as always, I always submit my receipt to fetch after I do the video. I now, always forget about that until afterwards. So I did submit it and I did get extra points for the Cheetos. I guess there was a special offer for Cheetos. Um, so let me see what that offer is. It is a thousand points for buying one with a limit of two on the Cheetos. So I did max it out. Um, yeah, so that gave me 2,700 points and that's equivalent to $2.70 once it's... Um, cashed out so if you're not familiar with fetch already i do have a link in my description so you can definitely click on that and start earning points which gets you gift cards so i usually cash out and use it for amazon gift cards um, so yeah that's a little extra treat there that i wasn't expecting uh, so I take that down even more off my total not too bad especially for some food all right, guys, now I'm leaving for real this time. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.